Okay, thank you for waiting, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for attending this webinar today with Fullscript and registered dietitian and the founder of the Better Nutrition Program, Ashley Koff. My name is Kaylee. I'm part of the marketing team here at Fullscript, and as I said, we're very excited to have Ashley Koff here today to talk about how you, as a practitioner, can implement personal personalization at every phase of your patient relationship. Before we get into the presentation, um, I just wanna remind everyone that this is being recorded, so you will um, get access to the recording as well as any additional resources we can provide uh, via your email after the event, but also you can find all Fullscript webinars at fullscript.com slash webinars. So it'll live there, so you can always go back and check it out there. I'd also want to let you know that we will have time for a live Q&A towards the end of the webinar with Ashley. So there should be a question section on your dashboard. Feel free to ask the questions in there and um, we can, I can maybe help as we go, but we will have some time at the end to answer um, some questions. So again, I'd like to thank Ashley Koff for being here today. Ashley Koff is the founder of the Better Nutrition Program and has helped thousands of patients and practitioners discover the transformation power of truly personalized nutrition. The Better Nutrition Program delivers a full suite of tools for practitioners to easily develop and implement personalized nutrition recommendations. And Ashley Koff ha has about well, 20 plus years as a private practice dietitian, media expert, author, and practitioner mentor to work developing tools and programs for the Bread and Nutrition Program. She's authored two books, two chapters in practitioner texts, and is a notable speaker at integrative and functional medicine conferences. And with that being said, I could go on and on, but I'm gonna pass it over to Ashley and I will pop back in um, at the end for a Q&A. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm so excited to be here, uh, to be able to share with all of you today because, um, not just better health, but uh, better healthcare businesses. It's personal. So uh, what I wanted to do today is invite you to make this as interactive and as helpful for you as possible. We really value your time. And I just want to underscore how grateful I am to Fullscript for this platform and for everything that they are doing. They have helped escalate uh, the ability for me to provide personalization in my practice, as well as for so many of us. Uh, so I will talk a bit about that today and how to really optimize um, your Fullscript store and your Fullscript experience. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, I tend to move quickly. So as Kaylee mentioned, please drop things into the chat box, but I also don't um, enjoy it if I'm not hearing from you all. So if I ask questions, they're not rhetorical, they're actually meant for you to answer. So uh, please feel free to drop anything into the question box. I will have one eye on it as we are going through. And I'm going ahead and close um, my uh, screen right now, just uh, my webcam, because it's a little distracting for me, but I will be back here to talk one-on-one -on -one with you or one, one to many, uh, but make it very personal uh, when we get into the Q&A. All right, so let's take it away. Um, so personalizing total nutrition uh, in your for more patients and business is, um, is extremely important because it, uh, it should have always been important, but today it's essential. And the most, one of the really key messages I want you to take away from today is uh, that this is your competitive advantage. So there are so many entities out there. In fact, I'm just going to ask a question. And by the way, when I ask questions and you guys answer, people win prizes. So just going to note that part. Um, if you have any of these challenges, I would be curious if any of these challenges or even what brought you here today. So do you have patients who are trying all sorts of things but not getting results, either before they come to you or even when you're working with them? You know, I, I remember working with one uh, woman in Hollywood and she was uh, just did amazing once we figured out, you know, what was going on, root cause, all this stuff, had her off to the races and then she goes and works on a movie and somebody suggests something else. And I was like, what were you thinking, right? So this happens, you know, it's like we've got these challenges. Um, are, do you have anyone or where you're suggesting labs and tests to the patients, but they're maybe not work, they're they're not willing to purchase? I see Judy is saying yes. Cost of service is always a challenge on that part. We're going to talk about how to make it less challenging. Are you telling patients how important their nutrition is, but they don't make changes? It's not that they're non-compliant necessarily, but they're actually just not making those changes. We want to get to the root cause. Their why? You know why is this not happening? Right. So many of you, Allison. Yeah, patients are not following the recommendations like it's like oh i want to hit them over the head 
Um, but that's not what we want to do. We're going to talk about something better. Um, are your patients buying things from D to C companies? Um, what about, you know, they won't necessarily do a, a, a lab test with you, but they, then they find out that they're uh, doing one of those over-the-counter tests, and now they've given up like almonds and walnuts and uh, for, uh, you know one kind of fish and lemons and broccoli because a test told them that they were allergic or intolerant to that. And also, also oh, by the way, by giving up those foods that it would solve all of their problems. Or another direct-to-consumer company that's new on the market is uh, testing their genetics and then selling them supplements directly. We have, Within Fullscript, we now have the opportunity with 3x4 to uh, offer that kit, but it's not so we can sell them a supplement. It's so that we can design a personalized total nutrition and lifestyle plan, right? Come on, there's something so much better. And do you have not just 99 things, but 99 thousand things to do, um, but you're noting that you, there isn't enough time to do them all, you're not generating enough money, not easily getting client retention, and maybe you're even wanting more patients right now um, with, within that, uh, but struggling to attract and convert prospects. Um, so Hannibal Miles, you are the winner. Thank you for responding there. You said you're, you've got patients buying from Amazon and buying from other supplement. Um, so Hannibal, I'll just ask you to either um, in the chat box, drop your email to uh, to Kaylee, or you're welcome to email me, Ashley, at thebetternutritionprogram.com, and we've got something cool for you. Okay, so keep answering my questions as we go along, people. I love prizes, and I love giveaways. Okay, so then today's session is for all y'all. It's for all of you all because personalizing total nutrition, it's why we are doing what we are doing today. And when we communicate it effectively, it sets us apart. It also has the power to increase your revenue. Um, it does have the personalizing um, nutri total nutrition will deliver you better outcomes. Personalizing total nutrition will also, and this is so, so important, it is going to optimize client retention. Why do I care about client retention? Anybody can answer me. Why do I care about client retention? What's one of the reasons that we care about client retention? Is it because we're in this just for the money? No, it's because if someone sees us once or if they see us um, even for three months, they're not better for their life, right? And if they're not better for their life, that then we haven't done our job on that part, right? So we want client retention because we want to show them that a relationship with us, that we're investing in them and they're investing in us and that we are going to do this for a lifetime. And the reason that we do this for a lifetime is you never get to just achieve better health with something we constantly have to be working at and things are changing. Maybe our genetics aren't changing, but things are, are changing. And so it's really, really important in that part. Um, and so, yes, you guys are saying results and referrals. Absolutely. But we want to, they will carry your clinic. James Drake, that is the answer. Thank you so much on that part. That is the answer. Um, so James Drake, send me your email. If you guys can put it in the chat box or just uh, email it to Ashley at the better nutrition program.com. Cause I want to make sure that I get them, but Kaylee will also uh, help me on, on that part. Um, okay. So today we're going to cover really quickly. Uh, I want to get into this. How do we better assess a person's total nutrition? And then this is the money, okay? I want you all to focus on this. When I say show, you say show. There's no show and tell. It's about showing. We need to show each patient their personal needs and their better choices. We do not want to be telling anyone anything. When we tell, they don't do. When we show, there is a greater likelihood that they will do. And then when we show them and we see if they will do, and then if they don't do, we can ask what has happened. We can explore root cause, why didn't we, why weren't we able to do something? And then we can show them another option. You see, this is dynamic, just like the cell in our body. That's what we need to be working on here. We're going to identify and get help to improve key areas within your business model, and we're going to understand how personalizing total nutrition works with tools like supplements, genomics, and especially lab testings. We got a lot to do. So I'm going to do this exercise really quickly. I first want you to just take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, and I want you to Think for a moment and imagine, imagine your prospects seeking you out without having to maybe dance on videos. Look, if you love to dance on videos, that's totally fine, but I don't want you to feel like you have to dance on Instagram and videos and things like that. 
Um, what about if those patients were signing up for the full packages? What if they were making the supplement purchases? What if she was making the better nutrition choices that you were actually sharing with you? What if he was actually proactively filling out quarterly reassessments and seeking you out for follow-ups? What if you saw yourself hitting the bullseye? Um, what if you were smashing your profit goals and working better, not harder, and not having to uh, spend all your time on things that you don't want to be doing, but being able to spend your time better? And you know what? I realized I, as a um, moderator, have a chat box. You all are putting it in the right location. This is the question box. Um, so uh, we're totally fine on that part. Thank you for, for putting things in here and continue uh, to provide me your feedback. So I want you to imagine all of this. Just take a moment. Inhale. We don't typically pause, and I'd like us a little more parasympathetic. Okay, now let's exhale. Did you feel less stressed? Do you, is there a possibility that you could love your work more? Are you excited about watching your impact? Do you envision yourself being calmer, maybe less angst in certain areas of your business? Do you maybe ch are you maybe challenged by imposter syndrome and, and in your vision when you imagine this you felt more empowered or maybe you're like me and you're like check in the box i actually absolutely am booking that next vacation right ah people see me and i'm having the impact and all of this is worth it that's the space i want us to be in to receive this information today because i will tell you this I won with personalization. So I started my practice in 2001. So let me be clear, long before we were talking about niching down and having like going to all of these courses to become marketing experts, is anybody kind of tired about the fact that like they feel like today they have to have two jobs, like they have to be an expert marketer and they also have to be an expert practitioner and like having two jobs and being paid for one doesn't feel like it's very much fun. Look, I started my career in marketing and I was an amazing marketing expert um, or an account executive, strategist, et cetera. I sold sugared cereals to America and told them how good they were for them. I helped create Smart Start, Raisin Brand Crunch. I am so sorry to all of us today. Um, but I will tell you this, it is a really hard job to do that. And we shouldn't be doing both of those jobs, but you can have results. You can have better results like this. And I want to make sure that you know that it is possible. And I share that because there is a disruption that needs to happen in healthcare right now. The disruption that needs to happen in healthcare is each of you needs to have the tools that reveals your awesomeness, not the tools that make you like anybody else from a marketing standpoint. Standpoint. And my concern when I see and I listen to and I go to all the things that you guys are going to and I hear how we're being told how we should market is that it's something that's outside of our practitioner selves, that it's trying to make us these people who are really good at selling things. Guess what? As a healthcare practitioner, you're supposed to be really good at helping people. You're not supposed to be really good at selling. And it might sound like, well, then how do I have a healthy business? Stick around. That's what we're going to talk about today because it's not the selling, it's the showing. So I did all of this by offering personalized total nutrition. And I really did that. And that, my friends, was my niche. So when you're sitting there, you know, a lot of times, and, and a colleague was talking about this today, that, you know, people are trying to figure out niches and they're thinking about, or niche, however you want to pronounce it, um, they're thinking about like uh, the old way of thinking about, or maybe the traditional allopathic way of thinking about our bodies is like pieces and parts. Like, so, oh, I'm going to niche into PCOS, or, oh, I'm going to niche into bone, bone health, or, oh, I'm going to niche into, uh-uh. You need to see people as people. So your niche is when we talk to people as people, when we explore who they are from a personalized standpoint, when we're focused on assessment that way, when every body, every being is unique and we know each person needs their total nutrition plan, that's your niche. That's your competitive advantage. That allows you to compete. Not the, Your competition isn't the other naturopath down the street or the other dietitian or a health coach or any of those pieces. Your competition, my friends, are, supplement companies like care of and ritual your competition are companies that maybe sell you tools but they also sell them direct to consumers your companies are your your competition is google your competition is webmd your competition is that tv show that people are watching to get healthcare information you are so much better they are spending for help everywhere and the reason you are all here today is you know personalized is better so there is a fact we know this 
And by the way, you can screenshot this and you can use it yourself. We have a saying at the Better Nutrition Program, me content is Sue content. My content is your content. You literally don't even have to keep my logo on there. You can use this content and, and you can take it and run with it. And today I'm gonna show you all the content that you can use to offer personalized nutrition. So there is no perfect help. Excuse me, there's no perfect help either. <laughs> we know that, but there's no perfect help, but there's something so much better and it's personal. That's what you need to lead with. That's what somebody needs to feel when they meet you, whether it's on your website, whether it's on your Instagram, whether it's on in a presentation. Look, I'll tell you, when you tell someone that you offer personalized nutrition, but you give them a protocol and it tells them foods to eat, um, foods to avoid, uh, exercises to do, and it's just like long on this lengthy protocol on that part, that doesn't feel personalized. That feels overwhelming and not specific to me today. We are going to hack those things and you're going to do better in your business because you took the time to come here. So one thing that I want to do is I want to go over, I use this, I say, I mean, my company is called the Better Nutrition Program. I realized there was no working definition of better nutrition. And I felt that this is like so unbelievably important. Um, and I think that this is really, and Luba Kaplan, you are so right. I am describing a foundation which health coaching stands on. I honestly believe that every practitioner is better when they get health coaching training, no matter what your other uh, practices, your other licenses or training are, or um, if you're a health coach, amazing on that part. You're absolutely right on, on that piece. So better nutrition by definition gives a body what it needs to run better today while reducing what can irritate, overwhelm, and disrupt its efforts. I want you to copy and think about this definition. And it's so important that you do that because when we are talking about personalized nutrition, this is what we need to share with others. This is what's going to be specific on that part. Um, okay, great. So let's first think about why are people considering and choosing you? Well, they're tired, they're sick, they're sick and tired. They feel hopeless. They feel like failures. By the way, if you need to for a moment, instead of those people, just think about yourself and if you've ever pursued anything, any type of health uh, support for your mental or your physical health. Medicine and diets have failed them. For me, oh my gosh, that was my entire teens and 20s. Um, people want something that works, right? And they, they want something that works for them, not something that works for someone else. I will also offer that people love to play games, i.e. they really like to do things that are gamified and not things that are boring or feel like homework or feel like more items on a to-do list. People who are caring for others, they also want something that works for everybody. And most importantly, I think they need it to be easy and for it to feel doable. And we can promise them this. We can actually promise them all of this. So I started off with four reasons and then I realized it was a total lie. The four reasons to personalize total nutrition for your patients is we want to show them, not tell them that their foods or supplements, their drinks and their medications, et cetera, it all comes together. They all impact their health and they need to, they all need to work better together. We want to show them that different foods and beverages that are giving or keeping them from their better health. We are already different than just about, and even if you're a book author like me, I promise you this stuff doesn't exist in a book. A book can be a way, a lead magnet to working with somebody individually or a lens through which to learn about this stuff, but we have already disrupted everything that anyone else can do except for you. You are at the center of their information bullseye. You are the one that can do this. Nobody else can. Show them what their body needs to run better today. So be their Lyft or their Uber driver or be the GPS in, on their phone when they're getting in their car and identify where are you today because that is going to be the lens through which I make recommendations for you. Show them how they can enjoy better nutrition deliciously. Notice I put the word enjoy and deliciously in there. Um, and that, that really stands in the face of what many people believe can actually help them on their path to better health. And then here's what wins for your business. When you show them why their other efforts aren't personal and thus haven't helped them to succeed, you help them understand that they are not failures. You transition them to the potential for a success mindset. When you start to evaluate where they are today and you show them their successes first and use those to inform recommendations, you keep them in a success mindset and you create a greater likelihood that they are going to do the things that um, we are going to suggest on that part. 
you may have them need to wait. How many of you um, wait for, you know, offer lab tests or, um, you know, send any type, have any waiting between a session, one session and another session with a patient? You can't leave them waiting. I want you to hear me loud and clear. Genomics tests, uh, maybe use Rupa Health, maybe you are um, waiting for lab results from another practitioner to be sent over, maybe like whatever you're having them do, you cannot leave them in the proverbial waiting room. And most importantly, you can't leave them waiting when they're first coming to see you. If you do that, they all, what ushers in is their failure mindset and all the, and, and everybody else that's advertising to them while they, like literally I had a patient leave me one time, waiting is the worst, right, Michaela? Um, waiting is about a month, Allison. So you know what, today you're gonna learn what you need to do in that month because I want you all to repeat after me, I will not keep my patients waiting from their better health. There is something every single one of them can do the moment that they connect with you that can be tracked and that can be help them start to engage and that can help them start to feel better. And if we don't take advantage of doing those right now, thank you, James. Thank you, Michaela, for writing it on there. Um, it's, if we don't keep them doing, getting into that engagement, other people will grab them or their mindset will shift and it makes your work harder every single time. And finally, when we do this, we can show them how seasonality, life stage and goals shift their needs. And as a result, if your needs are shifting, you need they need you to connect, to adjust that plan, maybe to completely blow up that plan and start with a new plan for lasting success. So a lot of reasons to personalize nutrition. This is what they're being told. If they're being told for about weight loss, eat less, low carbs, et cetera. If they're constipated, more fiber. If they've got low iron in, by labs, take an iron supplement. If they're vegan, they're told they need B12, calcium, et cetera. I know none of you would ever tell people this. If they quote unquote have MTHFR, that's one of my favorite giggle giggle, um, they're told then uh, that they need a methylated uh, B12 and a methylated folate. This is not acceptable. This is not healthcare, and most importantly, it's not personalized. This is what they want. They want Ashley's keto, Stacy's paleo, Tom's fasting, right? And this is what, this is another thing, rip this off, I made it in Canva, it's easy as day. This is what you want to advertise. This is what you do for your patients. So the question isn't, is keto, everybody types it into Google, is keto um, you know, good or is keto, and what they wanna know is, is keto good for me and is it going to help me with my X, Y, and Z? Right, that is what they want the answer to. I noted that I rhyme there, so I kind of feel like I'm extra awesome today. So if that is the case, if it's Google there, then you turn around and you say, I don't care what the answer in Google is. Even if they rank to my own blog, when they get in there, they're gonna say, hey, by the way, I do have this blog and our content is your content. Take it, use it. Um, don't use the exact same wording, otherwise Google will ding you and not us, but go ahead and put and create this content. Go through your content on your website right now. Find out, do you have things that say this about paleo or this about a trend or whatever? And am I not telling people to personalize it? More importantly or equally importantly, look at all of your marketing. Are you on Instagram? Are you on LinkedIn? Are you on in Facebook? Are you um, uh, going live and sharing some comment you know, somewhere that isn't personalized? Are you in the business of giving right answers but telling people you sell personalized solutions? Then you are a walking contradiction. We just went through this in a membership uh, work session today where we were talking about the fact that if somebody comes up to you at a party or, and you're, or you're socializing on the tennis court and they ask you a, your, a question about nutrition, uh, the, your answer should be, would you like my personal opinion or my professional advice? First of all, greatest line ever. We all get asked in social situations. So that's immediately sending it over to professional advice. And then you say to them, I can't give you an answer here because, and this is the problem with all the answers you've been given from by others and why you're here asking me, is that I need to ask you a lot of questions before I can actually get to what is better for you. And I know that sounds exhausting, but if we do it the right way, it's actually the most efficient way for you to actually get what you need. That, my friends, is personalization. There are, and quote me on this, there are no right answers in healthcare, not a one. Even when we tell people not to smoke, 
The only thing we can probably say when we tell people not to smoke is that you're reducing the risk of giving lung cancer to other people because we all know people who have smoked, who have died and have not had lung cancer. So there are no 100% right answers. There are better recommendations and suggestions, and these come from us. And Michaela, so tired of going to those parties, use that line. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show this off to you. I wanted to go through some case studies and give you examples. Um, I wanted to share with you how we can actually do this personalization. So I had someone ask, come to me for weight loss. And there, you know, it's a, I've tried Atkins, I've tried keto, I've tried intermittent fasting and nothing works. And the way that they came to me was I was posting about fasting and I was sharing that fasting really needs to be personalized because I'm seeing a lot of, in particular women, but also a lot of individuals who are having negative experiences as a result of fasting. And so I said to them, if you want to know whether a fast is better or not for you, this was on Instagram. And then we also, I repurposed Purpose content everywhere. So there was a YouTube video about it that was on Facebook, et cetera. Great idea with your content is to take it, take it in one place and then morph it uh, for all the other pl platforms. And in this space with fasting, I then offered them this guide for free. This was my freebie to get their email, right? And then from the email, they read through this. I sent them an email with a question and I invited them to have a conversation with me. And this is how they became a patient on that part. So what came out of that in this conversation was I, and, and I had a quick conversation, what came out of it with this person was I then talked to them about their digestion and I had them fill out a digestive evaluation. I think we know, and this you can't read this in the fine print above uh, Trevor Noah here, but she was saying after Singapore, she had this back pain and awful constipation and all this other stuff. She took a fiber supplement um, and the fiber supplement uh, on that part, it worked and it was great. Well, nobody ended up telling her that there was licorice root in there. It caused issues from a heart standpoint. She was put on medication. She was gaining weight, like all of this different stuff. And then the doctor told her to try keto or intermittent fasting. Hello, the problem, the root cause here was digestive health. So what I needed to do for her from a weight loss standpoint was I needed to work on digestion. None of these diets are going to work. The digestive part is going to work. So how do I go into that from a personalized standpoint? Well, what I realized was, hey, by the way, I want to do a GI map test because I'm a little bit worried. Some of her symptoms were significant enough that um, that with her travels and things like that, I thought maybe there might be something else for me to look at in there. Now, and here's, I think it was, I can't remember if it was Michaela, but somebody who commented before, no, it was Allison, who said before, on that part, um, if you have, you might have like a month where you have somebody waiting. Okay, I'm waiting for that, those GI map tests. There are things that I can do. So what I did in that time period is I don't care what the results of the GI map tests are going to say. If you're not getting in sufficient magnesium so that your body works optimally, what is not happening? We all know this. Relaxation isn't happening. The stress response is not getting turned off. Um, all of these different pieces that are, need to happen aren't happening. So in that that month, I had her fill out the magnesium evaluation. I then went over a magnesium menu. We identified because in her keto, like all these different recommendations, she had gotten rid of a lot of carbohydrates. She was pretty nervous about adding in carbohydrates. I appreciated that. It wasn't my job right there, especially with not knowing what was going on with her digestion to try to encourage her at that point. I don't think I would have been too successful saying like, I don't care, I want you to eat grains. What I said instead is, look, I want to describe to you how magnesium works in the body. I was like, there's so much stress that we need to make sure we're turning that off. So over the course of the next four weeks, we're going to work to optimize your magnesium intake. I went over a menu with her. I showed her that a lot of the foods she eat um, that are rich in magnesium are not ones that she's eating. So as a result, I recommended a magnesium supplement. As a result, I sent her to full script because I told her about my magnesium supplement that is a better blend, that is a blend of um, where I'm giving her glycinate and I'm giving her a citrate form. And I wanted her to, to try this because she said she had tried magnesium before and Epsom salt fats. And I said, I also want something that crosses your blood brain barrier because we talked about it. She's super anxious. She's got all of this anxiety. She's been really frustrated ever since she's been on medication, et cetera, et cetera. And we went through all of that. So during that month while I was waiting for the GI map test, she was not waiting. We were making strides every day. Do you know what happened for this patient? She lost four pounds. This is a, a woman, uh, a menopausal or postmenopausal woman who had been trying for over a year to stop gaining weight. Losing four pounds was like she had just won 
I mean, it was the biggest win, won the lottery on that part, right? So together we were able to do that. When I made the supplement recommendation, I then, it triggered a an email um, sequence that I have that now asks her, have you gotten your, your supplement? Um, uh, are you using your supplement? Do you have any questions for me about your supplement? Uh, and then also a reminder to her that she doesn't then get to have a supplement um, just keep on that supplement. We're going to be making adjustments. So before she would purchase anything else on that part, I want, I'm going to be um, checking back in with her. So my supplement recommendations have a 90 day expiration date. I write that in there. I like that's on that part. So when you talk about how to use your store better, these are all some of my favorite things. And I did a whole workshop on uh, supplements and uh, um, how to run your business on that part. For our members, they, they have access uh, to that piece. It's really, really important that we are designing our business to make sure that we are not just making recommendations to people, but we're supporting them throughout this process. Um, and we don't want to just give them a protocol. Protocols are awesome. I love that Fullscript offers protocols. We provide protocols. I've written uh, protocols in Fullscript. But essentially what we need to do is we need to show them within a protocol where they are and we need to give them a roadmap and key markers for us to track how they're doing. And then we personalize things based on highest priority. So I would not say to give everything at once. I want to focus in on one thing. And I also taught her how to do stress check-ins and breathing, which I'm not doing so much of, but that's because I want to get through all of this. Um, and then I don't, I would not recommend uh, James advising as though they have the issue that I'm testing for while they await results. I, I absolutely would not recommend that. I would identify something that I have total confidence and I had total confidence that she was not getting insufficient magnesium. And I verified that in the moment with my magnesium evaluation. So I didn't have to wait for something else to come um, because we don't want to be wrong and we're not, we want to teach them that this isn't about guesswork. We can undermine our own value if we're treating them in a certain way. Um, another case study I want to share with you is about personalizing iron recommendations. How many of you know people that have gone to a doctor and they've come back with a CBC and their iron levels were low on the CBC and they were given a recommendation of an iron supplement? So many of us, right? All the time. If a person's iron lab is low, someone complains of low energy, is gluten-free and allergic to multiple foods per an Everly Well home test, right? This is the case study I wanna share with you. This was like, all I'm so tired of it. Just last week, Judy, Michaela, all the time, all of my female patients, OMG. This is why you need to have all the female patients that exist out there. Recommending an iron supplement is not personal. By the way, we even need information to know which iron supplement to recommend, but we also need to go deeper. This is an opportunity for if it's within our scope, if it's not, and maybe we're a health coach in this space or we're a dietitian who's not checking other labs or it's not within our scope, we can at minimum assess, and this is why I love total nutrition assessments, we can evaluate what are you eating and more importantly, what are you not eating so that we can figure out what you're getting and what's the likelihood that iron is, if your intake of iron is actually all part or just some of the problem here. If we can go deeper, we can look at CRP, ferritin, TIBC, and UIBC, et cetera, especially um, for people, and our colleague Ayla um, here helped me. She's the um, not just uh, a, a, an incredible practitioner runs uh, Boston Functional Nutrition, but she's also the uh, creator of um, Full Well uh, Fertility. And she focuses on strategically assessing iron. So the, her product doesn't even have iron in it. And she focuses on assessing at every, in each trimester to optimize, right? And that's a privilege for many of us. Like we, for many of our patients, we may not be able to do that with each of them, but it is so important it's so important that we identify a way to be able to help them better. And so what she does is she sends the iron evaluation when she's sending them to get these additional labs so that she or her, her colleagues do so that they can get all of this information. And while you're waiting on those results, you might do a digestive tune-up or you might do one of my favorites, which is a rainbow challenge. I love the rainbow challenge. Uh, and we actually at the Better Nutrition Program on our site under freebies, we offer our rainbow evaluation for free. Every one of you should be using it. You use that, you assess that. Um, I have a video on running the rainbow challenge. It's part of our emails, you get that. It is so unbelievably awesome. And it's something that every single person would be able to do um, on that part. And yes, these are um, all, all of them uh, are available for anyone to be able to view. I'm gonna go into that a little bit more. So thank you, Jacqueline. 
So here's another case study. What about, does anybody have a pre-diabetic patient or a diabetic patient, anybody with elevated triglycerides, maybe somebody who struggles with street cravings and has even tried to give up sugar? Um, and maybe they were, the only way that we know that they're pre-diabetic is that they, on this part, uh, have a hemoglobin A1C of a certain number. Y'all, hemoglobin A1C is like a batting average. I wanna quote, uh, trademark that, or give credit to our colleague, Meg Moretta, a dietitian who specializes in diabetes. Averages are not better. It's not personal. We should not be making recommendations based off a of hemoglobin A1C. Look, I was so happy when hemoglobin A1Cs became available. That was a great moment, right? Absolutely awesome on that part. But we have something so much better today. So what is that that's better um, we, is using a continuous glucose monitor. I wanna see, let's just do it for two weeks. I'm not gonna have you eat anything different. I just wanna see what is going on for you. Or maybe with a female patient, we do it for a month so that we can see um, where, how their hormones are, you know, are impacting it on that part. But I need to know more than your batting average because if I just look at your hemoglobin A1C, I'm not going to know, is it things that I'm eating is it things that I'm eating too much of, too little of? Is it my body doesn't have enough of certain nutrients? All of these different things within here, right? Um, in January, we're doing an awesome program to actually with practitioners where you can join us to be part of the continuous glucose monitor program and that it'll be um, available for practitioners and for your patients. Super excited on that part. But what do I do as a, an, a, an addendum to this part is, and what is personalized is not telling them to give up fruits, to stop having added sugar, any of these other things, we want to get to root cause. Have you actually asked them, is their taste bud, is their sweet taste bud in overdrive? She's saying she struggles with sweet cravings. Look, she might have a microbiome issue. She might have a bacterial imbalance. Like we've got to maybe investigate that part, right? But the one thing we can do is we can do a sweet taste bud reset. It's super fun. Um, it's one of our programs. I love doing it. You have them bite into an apple. You find out if they're, uh, how sweet they find that. And then we do a reset and we show them and you know what we're able to show them? And this is personalization. We are able to show them that it may not be the added sugar intake. In fact, they might've gotten rid of all the added sugar and now they're going nuts with monk fruit and stevia and all of these other sweeteners on this part. Maybe it's the sweeteners that are hundreds, if not thousands of times sweeter, or even the ones that are less sweet, you know, an allulose or uh, erythritol or these types, but the amount that they're taking in, right? So we can reset there. We can have that conversation. We can reset. By the way, this is also a phenomenal way to attract patients. So those of you that came here today and said you're looking to attract patients, Maybe you start out with a pretty bold statement is if you've been diagnosed with diabetes or prediabetes based on your hemoglobin A1C, I've got something better for you. We're not going to get you, we're not going to give you the kind of recommendations that you need personally. I need to know your chromium, are you getting in enough chromium? I need to know, is it the amount of added sugar or of carbohydrate you're having at one time? Or is it the fact that you're having it and you're sedentary? Or is it the fact that, you know, you're having it and you're not having any protein or some of these other things? And I'm not going to be able to just tell you that. I have to assess it and then move forward with it. So what I do there is, and I've actually, in this, I wanted to give you, so you guys are welcome. This is what's in our program. You're welcome to use this. And this is something you could do at home with your kids or with your, you, you could test it out yourself. You literally don't need anything other than an apple. And if somebody's allergic to an apple, you can use another fruit. You just may have to change it up a little bit if the other fruit is really sweet, like a peach or you know a nectarine or something else like that. But on a scale of one to 10, how sweet is it? right? And then we can see if it's, if it's not at least a seven, their sweet taste bud is in overdrive. Other things are making them, it's too sweet out there. So then that says to us, now we need to evaluate your food choices, your um, the uh, acid alkaline balancers, maybe things that might exacerbate a sweet craving like fatigue, digestive health. We could see if your supplements are helping or not. Maybe you're on gummy supplements. Maybe your supplements have monk fruit and stevia in them. Maybe the supplements aren't the right form to actually be giving your body what it needs to use the sugar effectively. And so we can do that 
that reset, we can do the reset for a period of seven to 10 days where we actually get rid of sweeteners, we get rid of added sugar, we show them ahead of time what they can have and enjoy so that we don't just leave them hanging for seven days. And then we retest and we the, the proof is in the results. It's like the old Heinz 57 commercial. Sorry, I'm obsessed with commercials because you know I made them for a living. Um, but let's show you the difference, right? Let me show you the difference. And that's when I do something like this sweet taste bud reset that's going to show you that. And then I can offer, you know, we can go on so many different pathways uh, as your practitioner. That is personalization. And so what we can do in that way uh, in the initial is maybe we, we bring them into doing a sweet taste bud reset by actually explaining or using the content done for you in the, the Better Nutrition Guide to Sweeteners, where we actually say, are the sweeteners that you're using the same sweetness as sugar or they are a higher amount? And so you can use the guide to you know, evaluate that part. Um, we, can, we can look at your, uh, your supplements. We can talk about the benefits of acid and alkaline formers and kind of looking at those. We can give uh, recommendations and we do this during the reset as well. We also use our added sugar evaluation. These are beautiful intentionally. Remember I told you in the beginning, you gotta gamify it. You gotta be different out there. Please don't come to people with intake forms that are 15 pages and a lot of content that they have to write on there and think about things and maybe even revisit things that are painful or frustrating to them. We wanna make this fun and engaging. And so your tools are going to make a very significant difference in doing that. And then once we do that retest, after you've done, you've, you've uh, done your seven to 10 days of the reset, then you come in here and you say, okay, you know what? Maybe now we need to dive into the fact that maybe it's your digestion or maybe I noticed during this time period you're not get, you really struggled because you're not getting in a variety of different colors and there's so much sweetness that's out there naturally so let's try doing the rainbow challenge or maybe we want to assess their digestion maybe we move over to doing a GI map etc during this time period or maybe we were already doing the GI map and you're doing the sugar retest in there maybe we're talking about inflammation with them now and we're saying you know what that like instead of just telling somebody what contributes like an anti-inflammatory diet, I'd like you to reduce your added sugar. That's telling people that's not actionable. But if we've now gone through and we've shown them and we've done a sugar reset and we've said, hey, we still have to work on this. Now we can look at what else is anti-inflammatory. Well, another key area is making sure that we're getting in a sufficient amount of essential fatty acids, the omega-3s, the omega-6s. So let's go through and see how we're doing there. And we can do that this month or we can do that for you know a little bit longer um, on that part as well. So there are ways that we're able to keep doing it. So I brought this in because now I wanna move over. There's so many different ways that we can offer personalization in your practice, but I wanna move over to making sure that you're setting your practice up for personalization at every phase. Typically, what we focus on is attracting patients, um, getting them to sign up and purchase. And then after they purchase, maybe we, we focus on like when they're um, when it's time for them to purchase something else. Maybe we're like, oh, gosh, now I got to go back. And, you know, it's, it's today's your last session. So let's talk about, you know, what we should do now. Uh, uh, uh. We need to consistently, consistently be in a phase where we're going through all of this stuff all of this um, on this part. So absolutely in each phase, we wanna be identifying what questions are they asking and how can I show them that personalization is a solution here. And I believe that I have done that in the examples I've given you. And Rick, yeah, absolutely. Um, not only have I, um, I don't call them flyers, I call them tools and I've spent decades creating these tools and the toolkit, but absolutely in, in terms of them, uh, the rainbow evaluation is available for you for free and also how to run the rainbow program. So you're more than welcome uh, to sign up for, for that one uh, and be able to get that. And that's over at the better nutrition program.com on our freebies. You can also sign up for a demo and you can learn more about that. I don't want to digress here from personalization, but I did want to alert that because I don't want you to feel like I'm just telling you things, but I want to come back for a second. I do want to come back here and say that all, yes, I mean, I, we, I have gone about and developed all of these because I know there is a proven system for offering personalization in your business and I wanted to deliver that to you. But you can do all of this without our tools. It's just a lot harder in terms of you would then have to go and do all of it. So, you know, that's, that's an investment decision, but I do want you to know there is nothing to keep you from. And I think it's a great idea for you to go ahead and take a screenshot if, if you are wanting to do this. Go for it right now and start asking your patients, instead of having a conversation with them about sugar is bad, I'd like you to reduce your sugar, I'd like you to remove your sugar, I'd like you to do this. 
start right with, with doing that sweetness assessment, do that sweet taste bud test to focus them on their sweet taste bud, which is a different lens and, and working, you know, working through it that way. Or, and thank you, Judy, um, you can absolutely um, use devices. Uh, people can get them at Costco. They can also get them with prescriptions. So I would look at that. And for many of you, you can get insurance reimbursements um, for reading or for having a healthcare practitioner read, read the um, CGM results. So really important. So everybody is telling your patients, and the key thing that we want to go over is you can intervene with personalization and do it differently because everyone is telling them an everyone and you're going to tell them a personal. So that's where I got into that. Are you showing them? So I just wanted to, I'm conscious of time, so I want to make sure we have time for questions. I want to show you how we can do this in all these different phases. And remember, I told you I go quickly, but that's also why Fullscript offers you the recording so you can go back and, and listen to it. I just want to be uh, respectful of everybody's time. All right, so in the awareness phase, so if somebody hasn't even met you, you can have conversations, and this can happen in social media, this can happen um, in, uh, you know, in the... Um, uh, if you're sending emails to people, this can happen on TV segments. There are all of these different things that we can do. So is your sweet, this is just a fun one, is your sweet taste bud uh, driving you in the wrong direction, i.e. like towards the candy store instead of towards the gym, right? That could be a fun post that you could make. Um, or you could actually offer um, to, to a doctor's office, um, uh, the, the nurse or um, the, uh, the health coach or the dietitian or the doctor themselves, depending on what your, your practice and your staff looks like could say, I want you to take this test. I want you to do this sweetness test. Or if I go back earlier and if I'm using the rainbow evaluation, I want you to do this rainbow evaluation. You know how you, you were asking me questions about your immune health and what can you do to support your immune system? I want you to fill out this rainbow evaluation. Remember I told you that one is free. Um, or in TV, on TV or in the media or podcast, this is something any of us can do at home. Give them those options so that they understand and they connect immediately with you and take an action with you that is personal and specific to them. The reason I love our quizzes or the reason I love having them do something like the sweet taste bud test is they don't know what their results mean. It's just like lab tests. They want you to interpret the results on that part, right? Another thing that you can do is if they are doing a test or have done a test in the past from, uh, you know, that a, that's a consumer or direct to consumer test, you can say, hold on a second. They gave you a report, but they just based on what your the results of that test were, but they didn't give you any results based on who you are today. So let me go in, when I do that, let me go and explain it differently. So for any of you who are considering or using something like three by four, it's really important that you don't just share the results that the three by four testing company came up with about your patient, absolutely not. You get that data and then you go through and you share with them a bullet points of what you've identified and then a hierarchy of what you're gonna work on and how. And maybe if they quote unquote have that MTHFR, you know, if, they, if there are some SNPs going on in there, maybe what you do at that point is you have them do a B vitamin choline assessment because number one, you wanna see where they might be getting in folic acid as opposed to folate. So where do I need to upgrade that or remove that or you know help help them with that part and that can turn into a pantry clean out if, if that's something or a pantry upgrade and uh, you know help them see that folic acid is often fortified in a lot of refined products but you can also introduce the power of choline as a backdoor methyl donor um, and you can go back to the uh, conversation that uh, in full script remember um, Kaylee was saying at the beginning the webinars Amanda Archibald and I did a webinar on that particular topic and you can share that with them and you can say so what we're going to focus on right now is optimize your methylation. That's what we're going to do this month, or that's what we're going to do for the next three months. Uh, and that is a combination of supplements and of foods, and here's what we're working on, right? And you go through that part. So when you, um, I digress from the awareness phase into what we're actually going to do, but I just, I, I wanted to bring that up. In the engagement phase, now maybe they are liking something or they're following over to an email. Now you want to raise the question for them. You do, we want them to take an action. So I know that you love learning from me or you, you, you're excited to get this. Thank you for liking this. Thank you for following this. But the only way I can actually help you if you have any goals is for us to actually have you take an action. So in the engagement phase, I want you to take an action like doing the sweet taste bud reset, um, like doing the rainbow challenge, like doing the water challenge, like doing a digestive tune up, et cetera, in that part. And then in the evaluation phase, when they get on the phone with you and you're actually going through results with them, you want to, at that point, remember they haven't hired you yet. 
You want to be clear that you are not somebody who is just going, I know you want a meal plan, or I know you want me to tell you what foods to eat and what foods to avoid. Absolutely not. I'm going to meet you right where you are, and I'm going to identify with you. We're going to, we're going to figure out your body has nutrient needs. The reason that I use supplements and foods and maybe skincare and medications and baths and all these different things is there are a lot of ways we can help you meet your needs. Let's figure out what's deliciously doable for you. And that's what we're going to work on. And so if you invest in me, then I'm going to invest in you. And here's how we're going to work on that part together. And that's how you get them to purchase. And then the most important thing is when they purchase, you don't leave them waiting. Remember, I told you that. Immediately, we need to start doing something. Do you know the number one thing, the, the number one, the most frequent action that people take or the most frequent question that they have after a purchase is what? What do you think the most frequent question that people have? Think about yourself. When you've made a purchase, an investment, what now? Great, Michaela. They might want to know what now. So we need to make sure that they that we have something what now. It's actually not the most frequent, not what they check out the most. And I took this from a study on digital purchases. So I just want to clarify in that part, but I think it has relevance for all of us. Anybody else want to guess? Okay. All right. There we go. And Michaela, I'd love to offer you um, a prize. So make sure that we get your email as well. James Drake. Did I make the right choice? Should I have bought that? Is this for me? What did I just pay for? All of these pieces, what if it doesn't work? They actually check out the return policy before they are doing anything else because you know what is stronger than their incentive to purchase? They're so excited to purchase. You know what happens? Their failure mindset. Those people, I'm human, it happens to me all the time. The failure mindset pops in. Did I just do something I'm not gonna be able to do? I'm not gonna be able to get the results. I'm not gonna be able to. So we can not keep them waiting. We have to start immediately post-purchase with sharing with them something to do and something to show them where they're successful. So one of my favorite things is I actually take their food journal. Like I have something that they send over to me and I ask them what they ate and drank yesterday and I have them answer it. And I send them something back that only talks about what they did that was great. I am setting them up for success. The only way you can be a successful patient is if you feel that you are a successful person. By definition, feeling that you are successful or being successful means that you have to feel that you have successes. So we have to put them into that mindset and we have to keep moving them into that mindset. It's so important in that part. And then we have to keep doing that in the post-purchase process. So we do need to go into how we check in. One of the reasons I love the rainbow evaluation, which I told you guys is free for all of y'all. One of the reasons I love that is because three months from now, guess what happens? Like we're in a new season right now, right? I am not eating the same colors in the same way as this middle of this summer. And if I don't do a rainbow challenge and, a re and look at my rainbow each quarter, I forget to get colors in. My weakness is orange. I'm not very good at it. So I have to check in on that every single time, every single time. So that's going to be so important. Show prospects at every phase why they haven't won with something else and what you offer on that part. I think I skipped a slide. Nope. Okay. Um, so these are just different things you can think about. Instead of on your website saying, I help women who da da da, when they land there, say your digestion, is it keeping you from losing weight, right? Maybe in your emails, you talk about three reasons you can't lose weight. And no, it's not that you're not trying hard enough, right? It's about your digestion. It's about the fact that stress affects digestion. It's about, and so we go through this whole thing and we offer them up a magnesium evaluation. And then you go to, are you ready to see if my if your to current total magnesium is, help, is helping or keeping your body from running better, take my quiz. That's how we show them. And that's also how we get them engaged in that engagement evaluation purchase phase. And then we can come back six months from now and reassess the magnesium to focus on that client retention. So we always want to keep showing them that. We have to keep focusing on client retention. We don't get to just sell them a package or sell them a session or any of those pieces. We have to design our businesses for those consistent check-ins. If you are someone right now, it's October 5th of 2021, and if you have patients that you have not reconnected with that you had in January 3rd or January 5th or February 10th, and you have not seen them this year, get in front of them. 
offer them something, send them the rainbow evaluation, remind them that they have HSA and FSA benefits that likely are expiring uh, at the end of the year or that they have them available and that those can apply to either sessions with you or supplements or do invite them to do a rainbow challenge. Hey, I want you to close out this year feeling hitting your goals. And remember you had those goals, et cetera. We always have to keep following up with them. It's better overall for our business to get those ongoing referrals. So I just want to recap. People need their personalized total nutrition plan. They may or may not need a sweet taste bud reset, um, but hey, you're not going to know unless you actually ask them. And it's a really fun thing that you could have them do. You both win when you show them, not tell them how to do any of this. Your business wins I hope that I have shared that I have convinced you of that when you offer personalized total uh, nutrition. And there is a toolkit that will make it effective, but there are also free tools on that part. So I'm always just curious, are we feeling like the time is well spent before we head into uh, the final part and then some Q&A? And yes, tools can be used with kids, absolutely on that part. Okay. Nobody wants to tell me if it was worth their time. Oh, good. Okay, great. Lots of you did. Oh, this is awesome. Lots of information to digest, Angela. Lots of information. Look, this is, I built a toolkit and a system for your life, for lifetime access. So that's another important piece because I know that this is stuff that you can use at every phase of your business. So I just want you to have a plan for better results. We could keep doing what we're doing before we came here, feel what you've been doing, and hope for better. Please don't hope for better. Please, every one of you do one thing from today to move the needle forward in personalization because you are too precious to me. You're too precious to full script. You all are at the cutting edge of healthcare. Personalization is your competitive advantage. Even if you only want to implement one thing, please try implementing it. And in fact, I would right now, you can jot it down in the chat box um, or you can jot it down to yourself, but I would identify one thing that you are going to commit to doing. Now, you could try to do all the things, and this is okay. This is not a negative. You can absolutely do it with the resources that you have. Um, you might not want to hire someone to help you promote yourself on Instagram uh, in less, and a typo for myself there, unless you have clarity on how to do what I just showed you, like with the, the digestion and the magnesium and that piece, or just don't focus on that promotion. But you could make something up. You can use the rainbow evaluation. You can have them bite into the apple and do the sweet taste bud test. There are things for you to do here. Absolutely. You can also jump in. And the reason I'm introducing our toolkit here is that Fullscript makes it available to you with a hefty discount. So I do wanna focus on that. We have over a hundred tools. You have lifetime access to them. When you buy them today, they are yours for lifetime. You have, I just wanna go over that part. So this is not an annual investment or any of these other pieces. They are yours for lifetime on that part. And if you want more in the membership and more tools and more help and all that stuff, you're welcome to explore that part. This, all of this content exists for you to do everything that you need to be doing in your business so that you can, that you can implement personalization as I just talked and, and shared with you on that part. So you have a way to deliver personalization more effectively, optimize client retention, save time and resources effectively marketing your business, attract, engage, re-engage, and optimize patient outcomes. I know because I built a several million dollar business and, in it, and that was before starting BMP as a healthcare practitioner doing this. And I had to do it without tools. And then, and then starting to create the tools and shifting made such a difference in terms of my efficiency on that part. So there is a code for you. I want you to write this code down. Full script 10. That's going to give you 10% off. So it's a key dollar value for you. 10% off. It's over 100. I think it's 160 dollars on the toolkit. It's over $300 on the membership. And that is courtesy of Fullscript on that part. It is going to show you how you get better results powered by using personalized total nutrition. You should not have imposter syndrome. You will not have those false starts because you're going to have what you need to be able to show someone where they are. You don't need to have answers. Imposter syndrome and fear comes when we feel like we need to know all of those pieces. We don't need to be chasing all of our revenue and not making profits. 
we can be more profitable, especially by using our time more efficiently and more effectively on that part. So I just wanna say thank you. I wanna pop over with my webcam because that's a lot more fun. And I wanna start answering the questions um, on all of these different pieces. Kaylee, if you can help me, there's a million in here. Um, yeah. On that part. yeah, absolutely. No, that was um, amazing. I don't know if I've seen a webinar with so much engagement and yeah. so much energy. So I loved it. Um, a few, I think you answered a lot of questions as we went. One that just came through actually is interesting. Um, the tools that you just showed and what you get in packages, um, can they use those if they're just starting a business and they don't actually have anything quite set up yet? Absolutely. So you are in the best time because you can then set your business up for personalization super effectively. Um, and you also, I don't know if you guys know this, I assume all of you that are here already have a full script store, but if you don't even have your full script store, we, we also offer you mine. So it comes pre-stocked with stuff in there. So that's like another way to easily get started. Um, but it is actually, in my opinion, the way to do this because um, it is going to make it so much more successful for you if you set it up this way. So it's a really good lens through which to uh, start doing on that part. Michaela and others, everybody, I just shared our website on there. If you're interested in a demo um, so that you can more one-on-one -on -one talk with me or a teammate about your business and, and figure out what's better for you, you can go there. If you're looking to see the toolkit and you want to, to go through, I went through it really fast and you want to go through all of that stuff, you can go to the toolkit page. If you want to see our testimonials to see what your colleagues are saying, that's there. Um, and if you want to see the products and the pricing and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, hit purchase, enter your full script tent. So I just want to make sure that everybody gets that code as well. I think Haley, that, uh, Haley, um, yeah, sorry about that. I think that'll give us a lot of answers um, to some of the questions as well on that part. Yeah. Yeah. And also, um, I know we've said that we will be sharing the recording, of course, but also any of like the resources. So I can reshare this, you know, the the website landing pages of the toolkit and the information, the testimonials and some of the freebies, but also um, put in that code um, as well so that it's kind of there so we can we can Perfect. everyone can refer to it if they need. Um, yeah, I think I know it was like fast, but great so yeah. i don't think on my end i don't think it was too fast there's lots of information but great great information i think um there was another question um about how you manage your first consult call so they feel that they're gathering so much information from the client and they need time to process do you have a plan before the call for example which evaluations you're going to choose and i know you probably shared a little bit of your your templates but yeah <laughs> your plan so before yeah, this is so important. And by the way, it's also born out of my own frustration. And thank you to anyone who's staying on a little bit longer. Um, I will continue on. And if you can't stay on longer, you'll get the recording and you can just fast forward to the end and, and listen to this part. Um, so this is really important. And one of the reasons is that I myself was a victim of, I love my practitioner, so I, I won't call her a victim, but I was a victim of a 15 page intake form with my naturopath and I, um, I failed it. Uh, I was so miserable filling it out. I didn't give her good intel. We went in, we had this like horrible initial session where I just felt like I had to vomit all of this information yeah. to her. And I left there with no connection to her, right? And that's not her fault. And fortunately we have enough like, we had interacted before and I was like, I, I feel like you can still help me, but like, how do we, you know, move the needle forward? And it's also, I don't know if any of you have this experience, but where you end up spending three hours on an initial consult instead of the hour that you were booked for. So it also, you know, messes you up or an hour and a half or, you know, whatever. So it's, so there's a couple of answers to this. The first is depending on, and this really helps you when you use, um, some of our tools are business tools. And one of the tools is about marketing. And when you identify how someone has come into you. So um, from a marketing standpoint, did they find me on Instagram? Uh, that's one piece, but did they respond to a post about stress and then got my magnesium mm -hmm. evaluation? Then I know that when they come in, I'm number one, I'm going to have been able to look at the magnesium evaluation. And I do like to do, we do have an intake form. I typically include digestion in there and a three day food journal. That's like mine and I'm a dietitian, So it might be a little bit different with, from a practitioner standpoint. But if I know somebody's coming in through stress, then I also will, and it, like I will prioritize in that initial session 
focusing very closely on some things that I can help them immediately put into action so they mm -hmm. reduce their stress. Because after week one, when I send a follow-up to ask them, are you, are you feeling any better today, right? Or feeling any better at the end of this week versus where you started, and I do send that email, then I wanna know um, at that point, and I'm gonna be asking them about stress. So that's personalization in our marketing that then leads into personalization in our business process, which also helps us be more efficient as practitioners. We cannot do it all, and we shouldn't. We should work in chunks because if I can reduce her stress, I'm going to optimize her digestion. I'm going to probably have her help sleep, you know, sleep better. I might have her get in the activity that she wants. I might have less stress eating. Oh my gosh, look at all the things I've changed before I need to go back and start worrying on, you know, oh, what's going on with, you know, such and such. So um, I love that question. It's super, super important one. Yeah. Yeah. And I think actually kind of a, another question coming out of that is your thoughts on the elements of a discovery call, you know, whether emailing handouts and questionnaires is wise before a financial commitment is made. That's a good question yeah. too, actually. Here's, okay. And, and some of you may have heard me say this before. If you currently have the words discovery call on your website, go now and take <laughs> them down. Nobody signs up for a discovery call. I don't, don't say do you want a free discovery call. It's a business term. It's not a client or a patient term. I want you to say on here, I want you to explain on your website the experience somebody is going to have. If other people have told you what, it, what you should start doing and they haven't actually, we haven't done the assessment and we haven't figured some of these things out, that's why it's failed. That's why it hasn't worked before. That's why you're here now. So before we do any of that, I wanna get on a call and figure out like, what, what's the best thing, what is the best step for us to take together, right? So that's how we get them on a call. So please, no free discovery call or discovery call. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Okay, <laughs> so what would we do in that actually discovery call? Emailing handouts and questionnaires and things like that before a financial commitment uh, is made, it depends. So in your marketing, before you get them onto a discovery call, I bet that there's something that you could have given them and you could, there could have been some exchange there and some information. So could you fill this at this one thing out? Um, maybe it's an intake form, maybe it's a food journal, maybe it's one of our fun quizzes, because why not have somebody have fun with something, right? Like <laughs> rainbow one, it's free for you all. Why not just use that one, right? The reason is when you get on a call, you don't have to sell. You get to be in a practitioner mode. Now, I'm not talking about giving it away. You get to explain, hey, you know what I'm seeing in here? I'm seeing you're doing a couple of things awesome. So Kaylee is now in a success mindset. I've just told her she's doing a couple of things awesome. But Kaylee, I bet there's mm -hmm. a part in here, I'm seeing something and I see that you're struggling with this. Like as much as this is awesome, I'm noticing that whatever's going on in your day, like all your eating is happening at the end of the day. So even though you're eating really healthy, you might be backloading, which has me concerned a little bit about your digestion and your sleep. And I see also that when you woke up in the morning, I'm talking off of our, our, uh, our, our food journal page. So I, this is all noted for me. I'm also seeing at the top that you have this uh, over here that you woke up at seven, but you woke up feeling really stressed or not rested. I can now have a conversation with them. Remember I told you, I don't want you to have to sell. I want you to be an incredible practitioner on a call with someone. So the reason I don't believe in just sending stuff to people is who wants more in an email? Not me. All I want is you to help me. And in fact, I wish you could wave a magic wand and I would be better and I would just be done. I don't have to pay you. Like that's what I'm coming to you feeling. So I've got, they've got to engage with you. So don't send them a bunch of stuff, but there may be strategic applications for using tools. And if you use a tool, if you use the iron evaluation, you can turn around in there and you can say, you know what's interesting? I know your iron levels showed up as low on a lab, and that's just one level, so I might wanna get some other levels, but you showed me your iron evaluation, you're actually eating iron. The thing I'm a little concerned about is I see that you are taking zinc supplements, calcium supplements, and you're not getting in um, any, uh, you're not getting in a lot of vitamin C foods, and you also note that um, you have, uh, you, you tend to have a lot of loose stools. I don't think that your iron is low because of your food. So before a supplement would be recommended, I wanna work on, oh my gosh, they are going to sign up like that. That's how we do this differently. That's the power of personalization. Yeah, great question. Thank you so much, Michael.
Yeah. How did and how did you know that I eat everything I, in the evening? You got it spot on. <laughs> but it's so great. I think um, uh, you know the information is so valuable. And there's a few more questions, but I think I want to be conscious of everyone's time. I know. Um, and your time as well, Ashley, I know that it's been, you know, in the middle of the afternoon, it's nice to have, have a little bit of time, but we'll, we can give it back to you a bit too. I also know that if there's more questions, the webinars at fullscript.com goes to me. I can try to pass them on to you. I know your website has great contact information as well, um, as long as well as all the, the resources and everything we just talked about. So I will include, a, of course, all that in a follow-up as well as the discount code um, and the recording, of course. Awesome. So um, thank you so much for this thank amazing, you. amazing presentation. And I, I love all the engagement we got. So we hope everyone also enjoyed it. And we hope to do more with you soon. Of course, you know, yes. We can, we can start planning some more because I think uh, I think we we had a, a great turnout, and some we great might, information. I I had hoped to be able to announce it today, but um, Deborah, I haven't heard back from Deborah. I think we've got something kind of fun planned for the end of October, like around and helping people with the uh, with, with some Cyber Monday sales and some of those things. So, so keep looking at your full yeah. script emails, right? So make, make sure on that yeah. right now, follow our emails. We send out just one a month just to go over, you know, what we've got going on on that part. So you can also subscribe on on our end, and we will hopefully overwhelm you on that part. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. There's, um, you know, that Cyber Monday is coming. So yeah, yeah keep an eye out. Um, and um, we hope that everyone can join us again in the future. And thank you again for being here with us. Yeah. Today. And I just wanted to Gail and a couple others were asking me, we do have a payment plan for the membership, oh, yeah. um, not for the toolkit. The toolkit is a one time price, et cetera. But for the membership, um, which actually ends up being less. So it's good on that part. There is a payment plan and it's very easy. You just go to the products and pricing page at the when you go to the Better Nutrition Program products and pricing, scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see where the options are for the toolkit and for the membership. You click on the membership and it gives you the option to pay in full or to use the payment plan. Um, so that should be super easy for you on Perfect. that part. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye.